Good morning students. I am Dr. Ritika, the faculty of CSC department as an associate professor in Science and Use Institute of Technology and Management. Today, I am going to deliver the lecture on the subject of computer application in management. And today we will cover the HTML that is the hypertext markup language. It is not related to your subject but on the demand of students for their knowledge some texts are used in our syllabus also so let's cover about introduction about the html and different different tags related to our html that is the hypertext markup language so html what is html html is a language for describing web pages it stands for hypertext markup language it is a markup language so the markup language is a set of so markup language is a set of markup tags the tags describe document contents html documents contain html tags and some plain text the html documents are also called to be the web pages what html tag the markup tags are usually called HTML tags. The HTML tag are keywords or tag name that are surrounded by some ankle brackets like HTML. So it is normally come in a pair like B and it is the starting that is the break line. It is the ending of the B that is break line. The first tag in a pair is the start tag and the second tag is called to be the end tag so the b is in start tag slash b is in end tag the end tag is written like the start tag with a forward slash before the tag name start and end tags are also called opening tag and closing tags now html tag and html elements are often used to describe the same things like in html elements p is the paragraph that is the starting tag and slash p is known as the ending tag the purpose of a web browser such as chrome internet explorer firefox safari is to read html documents and display them as a web page the browser does not display the HTML tag but uses the tags to determine how the content of the HTML page is to be presented, displayed to the user. Here are the some HTML page structures. You can understand here the HTML body, headings, paragraphs, another paragraphs, then close of body and then close of HTML. And here is the starting tag and we will end at the end of the heading. Same paragraph tag we will end at the end of the paragraphs. So here is the structure of our HTML page. So these are the different different versions of our HTML like HTML in 1991, HTML plus 1993, HTML 2.0. These are the versions now in these are the in html 2.0 in 1995 3.2 in 1997 in html 4.01 in 1999 xhtml 1.0 in 2000 and html 5 in 2012 and xhtml 5 in 2013 so now latest version we will work on the html is html file and in xhtml5 that was launched is 2013 and HTML5 is launched on the year of 2012. So these are our HTML versions. Now HTML editor. It can be edited by using a professional HTML editor like Adobe Dreamweaver, Microsoft Expression Web, Coffee Cup HTML editor, some notepad or you can say notepad plus plus the notepad advanced version is notepad plus plus now html basics 
here are the html headings where headings are defined from h1 to h6 tags the the heading h1 close of heading h1 close starting tag of h2 then close of h2 starting of h3 close of h3 these are the heading tags which can be extended from h2 6 paragraph now html paragraph is defined with the tag of p example like p this is a paragraph close of paragraph this is paragraph another in close of another paragraph here is the paragraph tag now next is the html link link is defined by a a tag that is a href tag so a href then we link mention the link where which you want to link this tag this is a link which is enclosed with a so it is the tag of html link next html image html image is the another tag which is donated by the img that is image tag like image so source code we will mention here is the w3schools.jpg image whose width and height to be given. So it is the HTML image. Next is the HTML elements. The HTML documents are defined by the HTML elements. So HTML element is everything from the starting tag to the end tag. The starting tag is called to be the opening tag and the end tag is called to be the closing tag here you can understand it's the starting tag some contents to be written in the paragraph tag and end of the paragraph same here is the some link to be mentioned this is link and the, this is the close of link tag br is used to break the line it is also a tag now some HTML document examples like document type HTML, body, write some paragraph, close of body and then close of HTML. The way by which we will mention some HTML documents. Now here are the some empty HTML elements. The HTML elements with no contents are called to be the empty element, elements like BR. That is, in, that is an empty element without a closing tag. We are defined the line break or you can say break a line. It is an empty tag which is used in hypertext markup language. Now, some attributes which provide some additional information about HTML elements. They can have attributes which provides additional information about an element and they are always specified in the start tag. The attributes come in name value pair like name is equal to value and the example how you will mention the HTML attributes are ahrf http www.mcsoftsys.com this is a link then close of a tag now html headings in html headings they define the heading from h1 to h6 tag h1 define the most important heading and h6 define the least important headings here are the some example how we will use html heading tags starting of html heading tags and then closing of html heading tags now next is the hr that is the horizontal line in an html page so hr elements can be used to separate the content for example if we will write some paragraph close the paragraph then it will draw a horizontal line and next paragraph we will write use a tag starting tag p close of paragraph and then some follow the horizontal line so a line to be shown if we will use the tag hr now next is the html comments how comments to be mentioned in html with this tag here is the curly braces apostrophe s then two columns this is a comment 
and then close of comments. So comment can be inserted into the HTML code to make it more readable and understandable. So comments are ignored by the browser and not displayed. Comment is written like this. Now HTML paragraphs. Paragraph is defined with the tag P then P this is paragraph P this is another paragraph starting tag and then ending tag. Next is the HTML line breaks. Use the BR tag if you want a line break or a new line without starting a new paragraph. So P this break a paragraph break a graph with line break that is close of P. So BR element is an empty HTML element that has no end. That has no end tag. So here are the some HTML text formatting. HTML uses tag like break, italic for formatting outputs like bold or italic. B for bold, I for italic. So here are the some tags and here description I have mentioned in the table like B bold text, EM like emphasize text, I for italic or text in an alternative voice or mood, small defines smaller text, strong defines some important text, sub gives the subscriptive text, sub sub super subscripted text, ins insert text, del for delete text, mark define the mark or highlighted text. So these are the tags used in our HTML and their description I have mentioned in the tabular form. Now hyperlink or you can say link or HTML links. The HTML A tag define a hyperlink or a link in a word, a group of word or image that you can click on to jump to another document. When you move the cursor over a link in a web page, the arrow will turn into a little hand. Where the most important attribute of a tag element is the harif attribute, which indicates the link descriptions. By default, link will appear as follow in all browser where an unvisited link is underlined and blue, a visited link is underlined and purple and an active link is underlined and red. So here are the link tag and a harif tag which indicates the destination of your link. HTML hat. HTML hat element is a container of all the hat elements. Elements inside hat, it can include scripts instruct the browsers where to find style sheets, also provide meta information and many more. In HTML title tag, define the title of the document and the title element is required in all HTML or XHTML documents. The title elements also define a title in the browser toolbar which provides a title for the page when it is added to favorites and display a title for the page in search engine results also. HTML style elements. The style tag is used to define style information for an HTML document. Also inside the style element, you specify how HTML elements should render in a browser. So here is the head where you mention some style tags which define the information of an HTML document, some body which mention their color, paragraph, color, end of style and end of head tag. Now next is the HTML style CSS cascading style sheets which introduce the HTML4 to provide a better way to style HTML element. 
so css added to html in the following way as inline interline and external line in inline the style attributes in html element internal it's using the style element in the head section and in external they using the external css files also now html images in an html images they define a tag image tag which is empty and which means that they contain attributes only and has no closing tag so to display an image on a page you need to use the crs attributes where crs stands for source so the value of the cr attributes is the url of an image you want to display here is the syntax where image tag to be used in html like image source url their alternative the context or alternative text to be mentioned so it is the image syntax of image or you can say html image tag now in html table table is defined or defined with a table tag which is divided into rows and columns the row is mentioned by tr that is table row tag where each row is divided into table cell that is td so td stands for table data which hold the contents of data cell so td can contain text link image list forms and other information related to the table so here is the example of our html table like table border mention 1 so tr is the table row and td is the table data which contain data cells so here are the row 1 cell 1 row 2 cell 2 then close of tr that is table row 1 is closed next table will open so we will write the html tag like tr table data and you can see the data cell where row 1 row 2 cell 1 row 2 cell 2 then closing of tr and closing of the table so this is the way this is the syntax how we can create an html table in a html language now html unordered list the unordered list start with the tag ul where each list start with the li tag the li is the list item that are marked with bullet or you can say small black circles like this so ul li is the list like coffee milk then closing of list and closing of ul so what will be the output in the above mentioned html code here is the output it shows coffee and milk and some unordered list or you can say some bullets to be mentioned so this syntax give you a this output now html ordered list ordered list also related to their ol tag which gives each list item started with the li tag and also list item are marked with number for example ol is order list and list related to coffee and milk the output of this is first in number first show coffee and in number second it show milk so it gives it marks the item list in the form of numbers now html forms and these forms are used to pass data to the server it is mentioned by the tag form which is used to create the html form so form input element and closing of the form it is the syntax or we can say the example of html form how you can represent the form in the html language now the html forms the input element the most important form of element is the input element which is used to select users information and the input element can vary in many ways which is depending on the type of attributes input element can be of type text field checkbox 
password, radio button, submit button and many other things. So HTML iframe. iframe is used to display a web page within a web page. Syntax like iframe, source, URL, closing of the tag iframe. So URL points to the location of the separate page. Next is the HTML colors. So HTML color are defined using a hexadecimal notation which is HEX for the combination of red, green, blue. These are the basic colors which is RGB. So here are the some color in hexadecimal and the numbering related to our red, green, blue. So when you want to change the color in HTML whether you will mention the code RGB00 then it show black then if you say RGB02252552552 it show blue color or you can mention it in the hexadecimal form also. So students it is all over about the HTML basics of HTML related to your HTML tag so it is I think it is very easy language or you can say scripting language which is very easy to understand so on the demand of students I have covered the topic of our basic HTML and their text so students thank you for your kind attention thank you students